dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Trinity, I wish you, I greet you, the grace of God come upon you and your family members. Today, the Catholic Church, the Mother of the Church, inviting every one of us to join with the worldwide people to celebrate the 26th ordinary week of the liturgy. Today, I want to share with you the reflection on the theme called to eternal life. The whole world, all the people, sometimes including the Christians, they are acquiring so many things day by day which even not necessary for that life and fill their home with the gadgets, money and etc. etc. thinking that that will last forever. In the journey of acquiring the things, they forget the origin from where they came. They slowly neglected the journey for which they have called, that is to reach heaven. When God created all the things in six days for the welfare of the man, man to the contrary attached with the worldly things and forgot the God who gave those things to the man. That's why today the gospel giving us parable which Jesus spoke and revealed the last judgments how it going to be. Rich man and the Lazarus. Rich man was enjoying his life with all the enjoyment, with the friends drinking and eating, making merry, dancing. To the contrary, a poor man was sitting outside of his house begging for someone to feed, to quench his thirst. And he was a sick man too. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, both of them were died. The scripture says, when the poor Lazarus was dead, angels took his soul to heaven. In another hand, the rich man died and he was taken and thrown into the fire of hell. It's a very shocking news. What was the sin that made the rich man to go to the hell? And this is the reason that he forgot to use the blessings that God was given in order to feed the fellow being through serving the others, bringing the God's glory and being a God to the people who are in misery. But he used everything for himself. Everything for his pleasure, fulfilling his pleasure. But Lazarus, though he was poor, the scripture says he never grumbled. He never scolded anybody. Even he never cursed God. Instead, he was waiting for the mercy. He was waiting for the compassion. He was waiting for the, someone who can embrace him with his weakness. That's why today the first reading is telling, be aware, those who are at peace, be aware. Those who are enjoying life, be aware. Those who are filled with a lot of wealth, be careful. Your God is going to ask you the account for the blessings that he has given to you. The second reading, inviting us to fight for the faith. Matthew 6.26 is telling, If you conquer the whole world and losing your soul, what is benefit? You have received rewards. You have studied. Lifelong achievement award also you, you receive. But that is not a real one. One day God will call you. And that call will make you to stand before him. 
and god will ask account of your life and there if you don't have anything of the charity if you don't have any detail about the concern towards the neighbor and you will be thrown into the fire at the same time oh children if you are suffering no one is there to take care no one is there to feel feed you god is telling your sorrows will turn into joy the heaven is yours you will be seated at the lap of the abraham you will see the face of god your wounds will be disappeared your tears will be disappeared you will have the wings you will have the white garments and you will be decorated with the precious stones and you will be among the angels worshiping god face to face when we consider that life these sufferings are nothing these rejections are nothing but we have to careful when we are not focusing our life towards the heaven or forgetting god but living a lavish life living a, a celebrity like that there you have to stand reflect because the final day when you close your eyes god may say i don't know who you are that after that we cannot cry we cannot ask god give me one more chance that i will live life is only once that we have to live for god and for his people who are in need of our help make use of one hand for yourself and another to the other make use of one ear to listen to you and to the others make use of two legs one for you and walk miles towards the poor where they are living now let us all pray that our own properties own wealth should not be the cause of our punishment at the same time all those who are suffering join with me in prayer loving father we thank you lord for this message call to eternal life i am from heaven the breath what i have is given from god so this breath always will lead me to heaven the destiny in the middle what was given to me what i have possessed should not stop me in the journey to heaven lord lord we pray for all the poor people including those who are praying with us with a lot of debt lot of pain and suffering in the body as well as in the heart who are all having wounds lord heal them console them before they die let them experience your healing touch you inspire the rich people to use their wealth to the poor let there be equality let there be charity jesus what i have little give me the generous heart to share that little with someone who is poor, poorer than me thank you jesus you teach us leaders let us live as a witness for you among the gentiles among the poor people let us be the bearer of god's love in the holy name of jesus we pray and receive these blessings from your holy hand may almighty god bless us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen